reflect the nature of God in all our dealings. With a pure heart, you can make your request known to God, and there will be instant response from the throne of grace. Those who come before God with thanksgiving can never live by the mercy of men. I pray that our thanksgiving will continue in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Testimony time. Um, in Mark chapter 5, um, we read about a man with um, demon possessed, a man who was demon possessed. And you know, um, the man met with Jesus and Jesus healed him. And when he found out that he was healed and he was no longer possessed, he wanted to follow the master. And he begged God that, please, he begged Jesus, let me go with you. But Jesus said to him in Mark 5, 19, he said, However, Jesus, however, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he, ha and how he has had compassion on you. And um, brethren, we owe God our testimonies. We should not sit on it. If God blesses you, you should come out to testify. I have the following people here this morning who want to come and testify of God's goodness. And as I call you, please come forward to share your testimony. Sister Andrea Injeri Kinuya, Brother Gwenga Deyeye, uh, Brother Iriti Kayode, Sister Bosse Dewo Yomi, Brashi Wo Yomi, Sister Angela, Miss Oma Azi, Brother Olatu Bosun. Please come forward to share your testimony. Please come forward. church. Hello, my name is Andrea and I have a testimony. So recently I have been moving my stuff from one house to another, right? And um, there's this bed that was very, very heavy. But I told myself I can move it. The bed said no. My back, I hurt my back so much to the point I could not walk. I had to call a friend to come and carry me to my previous house and I could not walk. I was bedridden. So I was going to take medication and take painkiller, and then I remembered, who's my God? He says, by, our, by his stripes we are whole, and <laughs> we are healed. So I prayed, I said, no, I'm not gonna take any painkiller, I will pray, and I prayed. And I told the Lord, by testimony Sunday, if I'm healed, I'm coming on this stage, and I will say my testimony. And here I am, no pain at all whatsoever, and I can walk just fine, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to thank the Lord for the, to save my soul and the soul of my family. Amen. I want us to, to please, I'm a French speaking, so I'm sorry for my English. Amen. So please, God has been so good for me and my family that every time that I'm just thinking, I'm just beginning to cry. Amen. When are we are thinking where we were before and then where we are today, we just realize that it's a grace of God. Amen. God has done a lot of things. He has granted us a grace, mercy, mercy journey, and I'm a person who's travel a lot. I cannot stay maybe two months uh, one place. I'm traveling a lot, and every time God says he will be with us in our going out and going in. Amen. And he's, he was so faithful. I want also to, 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 you know, I want you know, to just tell to somebody because God is just putting in my hand hard to tell to somebody. I don't know how many times you have been waiting, but God has blessed me this year that I don't even know because this is more than 13, 13 years has been waiting for the fruits of the home. And that God has really blessed me above my, my expectation. Amen. What I could never even ask to God, he gave me. 
Amen. That's why I don't even have a word. And he's telling me that my daughter go and testify because he's about to do the same, even more than he has done for me in somebody life here. I want also to bless you, to bless the church because this is since uh, three years I've been coming here every year. And then I really realized that we are sister and brother blood sister and brother amen because the blood of the jesus unites us amen when i arrived here some sister and brother just took me as a really sister direct me how to do you know in this country nothing is easy if somebody cannot direct you how to do you cannot achieve anything they are just taking me sister calling me so i'm really grateful i'm feeling home amen and i'm blessing you and bless the name of god and say that let god bless and bless this church again in jesus name Praise the Lord. Okay, this is my second time in my adult life. I'm going to come out in the, um, to the church and in the presence of the children of God to testify what God has done for me. So I want to crave your indulgence. Now, um, 2012, I had an accident. I was coming from work in the morning. I worked night and I slept off. It was in December. And the car did whatever I wanted to do. And God preserved my life. So after that, I heard a voice that my enemy's life ended in that, but the rest of the life he's given me, he's given me another chance that I'm, he's renting the rest of my life to me, so I have to return something. Now, um, after this, that being said, on Wednesday, we came to church, and the pastor said, if you remember, the pastor said, go home, like, just go home. And I was like in my mind, ah, oh, pastor, don't say that now. Some people want to go back to work and finish whatever they want to do. I want to encourage us children of God, if there is an instruction, we should follow it. Now, I went to work, I didn't go home. I spent like one hour, I was doing whatever I was doing. So when I got off from, from work, I was in my car, I wanted to use the GPS to go home. Then, somebody came to me. I believe it's an angel of God, there's nothing anybody can tell me. That person said, just move down a little bit. That's another instruction. I was like, oh, these people. I'm not parked on your property. Why are you telling me to just move down? Okay, I said, okay. I moved down a little bit, like maybe three feet. If I'd known, I would have moved like... Within 10 seconds, believe me, children of God, a car just eat me. Like, within, I, I don't even know where the car came from. It just eats that car. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I ran out of the car. I called 911. The guy came out. His airbag came out. He was drunk, and they arrested him for DUI. What was I saying? If I had listened to that instruction, I would have gone home. That wouldn't have happened. Thank God he sent an angel to me to tell me to move. I just want to thank God for preserving my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pray, praise the Lord. Uh, God has been good and wonderful to me and my household, so I thought it was right to return our praise to him and come here this morning. My testimony is actually multiple layers, but I'll keep it quick and fast. My first testimony is on our daughter. Our daughter just turned two last month. We give glory, honor, and adoration to God. You know, sometimes milestones like that, we take it for granted because we just see them as they are growing up. But then when you see all that children, uh, dealing with maybe developmental issues or having delays or having persistent issues, medical issues, you give thanks to God for those little milestones because they are actually very, very important. My next testimony is on my wife. Uh, sometimes last year, my wife got a job with UPMC. It was a contracted job. So we knew it wasn't going to last long. However, about two months into the job, our daughter was a little bit um, strong. So my wife decided to take one day off to stay home like any mother would do. But unfortunately, that very same day, they ended the contract because she stayed home to look after her daughter. You know, this is something that my wife didn't want to do, but ah, just stay, just stay. And then they ended the contract. But we begin to trust God that something special is going to happen. 
And sometimes about four months ago, my wife got a research job, which was our interest anyway. She got a research job and for about four months, so when she got the job initially, there was a pending approval from the government, from the DOH. Um, and they, the, the company thought the approval would be done in a week, but it took four months. But the, the, the meat of the testimony is that in that four months, they didn't tell her that, okay, we are going to terminate the job. We are going to hold this job and let you go home for now. She was earning uh, what she was supposed to be earning for four months without doing anything. She literally goes to work and sit at her desk for eight hours and go home. You know, I just want to thank God because sometimes God is, is a marvelous, a miraculous God. He works his things in a strange way. I just give glory and honor and adoration to God. My last testimony is about myself. I took a board exam recently. Um, there was a lot of stressor in my life before the, before the exam. My dad, apparently some of you guys know, had stroke. So there was a lot of things in Nigeria that they would call me for and things like that. I would stay on the phone for hours just trying to get things uh, situated for him. But I just want to thank God because the result came out and God also proved himself. You know, God is a faithful God. is a glorious God. My last testimony, just to be really fast, uh, because I feel like if I don't give this testimony, I'll be robbing God. The reason is this. I've not been sick for a long time. I can't even remember the last time I was sick. And thank God for that. I've not been to the ER in a long time. But recently, about a month ago, I woke up. Well, nothing wrong. And then all of a sudden, I started having uh, abdominal pain. I usually wake up very early. I was up maybe like 5, 5.30. I was having abdominal pain, but my wife and my daughter was upstairs sleeping. I didn't want to disturb them, so I rode in pain for almost two hours. The pain did not go. Severity did not go down. So I woke my wife. I said, please pray for me. So she prayed, she prayed, she prayed. We knew that God has done it, but for some reason, the intensity of that pain persists. At the end of the day, I said, please take me to the ER. She said, what, ER? You've not you know, ever said that, even when you're going through any minor pain, I said, please take me to the ER because I think something is wrong. You know, for some reason, I thought it was kidney stone. Anytime I mentioned something, my wife said, no, in Jesus' name, no. So we got to the ER. To cut the long story short, I eventually went, uh, 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 got a CT scan done, which I've never had in my life. I had a CT scan done, and to God be the glory, it was kidney stones. My wife was concerned. She was very worried, but I thought that that's the least of my worry. Some people will come to the ER with abdominal pain, and it's cancer. It's something that will be devastating. So in my case, it was just kidney stone. So for me, I give glory to God. Pray, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for my life and all he has done for me. By his grace, I will be starting pharmacy school this month, at the end of the month. I give God all the glory. I just also want to thank God for my parents. By his grace, also, they will be coming in for my white coat ceremony, which is also at the end of the month. Good morning, church. Um, this morning I'm here. Uh, permit me, I might be mixing, up, mixing it up with vernacular because I'm here to worship the King of Kings. I'm here this morning to say a big thank you to my daddy in heaven, the maker of heaven and heart, the one that has made it possible for me and you to be present in the sanctuary this morning. I want to say a big thank you to Master Jesus that is making me to be a living soul and not a dead being. I might not have been able to make it if not by his grace. I want to thank him for helping me to go through the night journey of pregnancy. And not only that, on that day of delivery, he was there for me. I could remember on the first Sunday of, the, of this year, the first Sunday of this year, I sat down or, or at the side of, other side of the church and a sister came, I'm not going to mention her name, so that she wouldn't be embarrassed. But her testimony, she was my prophet that day. Exactly what I was passing through, she was giving thanks on it. She came here, she said she's thanking God for a safe delivery. That's when she got to the delivery room. Before the count of one, two, three, Jesus did it for her. I was worried because when I had my third baby, I was told medically not to go again. 
So in with, within me, we know that it is over. We are done giving birth to children. But I just noticed last year that I'm pregnant. I said, what is it? I did pregnancy tests like for like 15 times. I kept on doing it over and over to see maybe it can turn to negative. But it remains as positive. I said, what have I gotten myself into? So on that Sunday when she was given thanks, how she put to bed, I said, God, Jesus, if you can do it for her. That was the only thing I had in the service that day. We sang a lot of songs. I can't even remember the preaching. But I got exactly what I wanted in a testimony. And I cleave to it. Every day whenever I get home, I'll say, God, if you can do it for her, I used to mention her name in my house that you would do my own. And the day of the delivery, 40, 40th, for the 40th week came, nothing was coming for the 41 week. I said, devil, you are a liar. You will not have your way in my life. If you can do it for that sister, you will do it for me. So we went in and I was induced. Before you know it, Jesus started his work. Um, two centimeters to seven centimeters, blah, 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 blah. They came to me, they asked me, they would do the tummy like, did you think the baby is big? I said, ah, the tummy looks so small. And before you know it, they'll say, okay, I'm fully dilated. I'm ready to push out the baby. And before you know it, and baby came out. And the next thing I was hearing, a giant baby. I said, where is the giant baby? Where is the giant? When they brought out the baby for me, I said, wow, this can only be God. So this morning, God allowed me. I want to thank the king of kings. I said it. You know, women, when we are praying, we used to say a lot of things. And God is always faithful to his own. I said, God, if you would do this for me, I will roll before the altar of God. And I will say thank you. I know it might not be the custom here, but just allow me to do this because I have vowed that I am going to do this. And it's, it has been faithful to me. Worship him for our holidays. Let's begin to worship him. He's a good God, he's a great God. Oh. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You see me saying praise the Lord like somebody that just come from afar. I want to thank God this morning for so many reasons. Um, before I travel, I went to Nigeria last month. Before I went, a few weeks to the time I will travel, I was bringing my clients from work on 376, and I wanted to change lane. And I thought I have you know, check my blind spot, like they used to say here, you know, so many English for driving here. But suddenly, as I was about to go, a vehicle just came, and I didn't know how I managed a crash with that vehicle. And as God will have it, the lane that she pushed me to, there was no uh, vehicle, spe uh, you know, speeding towards me. It would have been disastrous with, you know, an old man in front of me. And I just say, Jesus, Jesus. And he said, but see, what? I said, don't worry, everything is fine. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I also want to thank God for my trip to Nigeria. You know, I travel, it was so stressful, but I thank God. But the one that I want to testify of is that God is faithful. Wherever God lives, he always provides. He always makes a way. I wanted to go to do my pension thing in Lagos. They've been calling me since last year, December. Hey, they are finished. Oh, you will not get oh, this and that. I say, relax. I'm coming home next year. I will do it. So when I got to Nigeria, something told me, this Lagos is too rowdy. Let me just do it because I have to travel to Abuja. I said, let me try Abuja. Another one said, you don't know anyone. I say, well, I know the one that knows everyone and knows everything. Praise the Lord. So I got to Abuja on a Tuesday and the person that took me, I said, take me straight to the pension place. And I got there, the lady said, look, we don't attend to, peep, to your people today. It was yesterday, so you have to come next week, Monday. I said, next week, Monday? I, I'm not in Nigeria, I come from, he said, madam. I said, okay, thank you. So the, I went back to the hotel room and talked talk to God. I said, God, 
this pension thing, I must have it done here and here in Abuja. And so the following morning, I told him, when do you people start? He said, hey, the following morning, I was there to open with them. And so I sat down in the wrong place because I saw they were preaching there. There is a man that was preaching. So I thought they were the pension. I just sat down. I was enjoying the message. Sometimes another person said, ah, this is not the, I, when are they going to start this pension thing? I said, madam, you are not there. This is not where you are supposed to stay. I said, okay, where is the place? So I went there. The first guy I said, ah, no, no, no. You, have, you belong to Parastata. We are attending to civil servant today. You are, we are not attending to you. I said, okay. I saw another guy say, please. He said, madam, I said, please, you just have to attend to me because of God. I have something to do by one o'clock and I have to leave this place. She said, okay, sit down. Let me see what I can do. I said, you will see something to do. And so she, the guy started moving around, moving up and down. What of this? What? I gave her everything that they said they needed. And to cut a long story short, I got that thing done within two hours. Something they said I should come the following. We praise the Lord. I also want to thank God for my baby uh, who just graduated. <laughs> She's my baby. She was about entering university when I came in here and I was so worried. Because the others have my support, I always push them, we read together. So I was so worried, that who is going to talk to this girl? Who will help me? At a point, the person that is staying with there said, Mommy, you better relax yourself. That means he's so mature, he's so, he's, 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 she's composed, don't worry yourself. So I want to thank God for giving her a good result. When pastor gave testimony that she prayed that the daughter, I mean the wife we have, um, 100%. I key into that and I started praying because I know that what God do for one, he can do to another. So I started praying to God that my daughter will graduate among the top five. He must graduate among the top five in our department. I started praying the prayer. I said, God, I know you can do it. If you have done it for pastor, you will do it for me, even though I'm not a pastor. Praise the Lord. And to God be the glory she graduated in biochemistry among the first five in her department. Praise the Lord. And finally, I want to thank God for Johnny Mercy. Almost uh, all my family were in Nigeria for like two, three weeks. And God saw us through. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's great to be in the presence of the Lord, to see everyone's faces. I've been out of church for a while because, just like my mom said, uh, I've been traveling. I was in Nigeria, came back really briefly, and then I was uh, in Trinidad and Tobago for a friend's wedding. And through everything, God kept me. God was faithful. God kept my family. Uh, moving the streets of Lagos, driving on the left side of the road in Trinidad and Tobago. God was faithful. There were no accidents. So uh, I want to give God glory for all of that. I want to give God glory for progress in life. Uh, I recently had my introduction and got engaged. So I want to give God all the glory for that. Uh, amen. And I want to thank God for favor at work. Uh, I've had my job now for about 10 months. And since when I got the job, I gave the testimony here last year about how this job was held for me for about three months. They gave me the job and I didn't have papers to get started. And the company held the job for three months for me. And I started and it's been about 10 months now. And God has been faithful. God has favored me at work. You know, it's, I've, I, don't, I can't recall a particular time where my boss was like, oh, you did this wrong, or you are doing this wrong, or we are going to threaten to fire you. It has always been approval. It has always been favor. And no, it's not just by my power. It's by the grace of God. So I want to come and return all the glory to the doer of all these wonderful things. Praise the Lord. Let's just begin to worship the doer of all these good things. Father, we